Keir Starmer interview, I will work to eradicate anti-Semitism from day one. Speaking exclusively to Jewish news, the Labour leadership frontrunner opens up about his Jewish family and plans to visit Israel for the first time with his kids. By Jack Mendel, February 14, 2020, Labour leadership frontrunner Sir Keir Starmer has pledged to work with the Jewish community from day one to eradicate anti-Semitism as he becomes party leader and revealed plans for his first family holiday in Israel. Following the Jewish community's leadership hustings on Thursday night, the shadow Brexit spokesperson said he was among the loud voices in the shadow cabinet challenging on anti-Semitism and would take action on day one if he got the top job. Speaking exclusively to Jewish news, he opened up about his little-known Jewish family ties, saying, My wife's family is Jewish. Her dad is Jewish, their family came over from Poland. The extended family live in Israel, in Tel Aviv. While he hasn't yet visited the Jewish state, he said he would of course like to go, adding, I haven't been, but we're in regular contact with them, and we've got various visits planned, basically to take our kids for the first time. During this week's Hustings event hosted at Liberal Jewish Synagogue, organized by the Jewish Labor Movement with this paper and Labor Friends of Israel, the leadership hopeful was criticized on Twitter, over he declined to call himself a Zionist. Other contenders, Emily Thornbury, Lisa Nandy and Rebecca Long, Bailey, did. Asked why he chose not to, he said. I do support Zionism, I said that last night. I absolutely support the right of Israel to exist as a homeland. My only concern is that Zionism can mean slightly different things to different people. And as Lisa Nandy said, to some extent it has been weaponized. I wouldn't read too much into that. I said it loud and clear and meant it that I support Zionism without qualification. This purge of the left was epitomized by the manner in which Starmer used Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's decision to call a snap election, to remove some of his hard-left critics as parliamentary candidates, while promoting his moderate allies instead. Among their number is a phalanx of Jewish and pro-Israel rising stars, such as Luke Ackhurst, a leading figure on the Labour right and former director of the grassroots campaign group We Believe in Israel, and Josh Simons, ex-head of the pro-Starmer Labour Together think tank. I think Labour under Keir Starmer has fulfilled his promise to tackle anti-Semitism in the party in a serious, effective way, said one Jewish community figure granted anonymity to speak about politics. In many respects, he has gone further than he needed to, or than anyone expected. The recent pattern of handing safe seats to Jewish and pro-Israel candidates is an example. Starmer's hatred of anti-Semitism also has a personal element. His wife, Victoria, is Jewish, the family are members of London's Liberal Jewish Synagogue, and Friday night dinners, the Labour leader says, are strictly guarded. On the bigger scale, I think it's time that we made the argument, and I would do this as Labour leader and hopefully Labour Prime Minister, that we need stronger international agreements, because whatever we do here, we need stuff done globally. So local action, national action, but we've got to play on the international stage here as well. Well, in 2016, I campaigned and I voted for Remain. Once the result came in, once the result came, because I'm, I'm, I'm an internationalist, I profoundly believe in cooperating, collaborating across borders, whether that's on trade or anything else. It's in my DNA. But I remain committed to being an internationalist and believe in cooperation and collaboration across borders, and I always will.